So we're going to talk about a couple moves that you can do at home. Just some really fundamental, um, not super challenging things that you can do just to get moving. So first of all, we are going to talk about the squat. I love a good squat because a lot of times if you have bad knees or your knees bother you, a squat is less intense on those knees. And so a lot of times it is a good go-to for a great lower body movement. So what I want you to do is I want you to think about um, that there's a chair behind you, all right? And so you wanna make sure that your knees are right over your heels, all right? And your feet are about shoulder width apart. So your goal is, like I said, pretend like there's a chair behind you. So you're gonna squat down and try to hit that chair with your backside. All right, so you wanna make sure that your shoulders are back, your chest is up, and your weight is in your heels, all right? So we're gonna squat here. You can put your hands up, you can keep them by your side, up and down. So simple, easy squat, all right? Let's talk about the lunge. A lunge is one of my most favorite lower body exercises because again, you can vary it in so many different ways. So let's talk about what a lunge looks like. So you're gonna start with your feet um, shoulder width apart, your heels are underneath your hips for this move, all right? And you are gonna take your right leg and you're gonna drop it straight back, drop that knee down, and then drive through that heel. You wanna make sure that your heel is what you're pressing through, that your heel is on the ground, and alternate for me. Also, you can do a forward lunge, so same, mechanics here, alternating, still pushing through that front heel, all right. This one a lot of times is a little bit harder on the knees, so you might want to stick with a reverse lunge if you have not the best of knees, all right. Also, you can do a lateral lunge where your trailing leg stays straight, and you're going to feel that a lot more in that inner quad, all right. Another great one, you're going to feel this one a little bit more in the booty, so a curtsy lunge, and you can alternate those. So that other knee is still tracking right behind your forward knee, all right? Remember, all weight is in that heel. My heel is on the ground the entire time. Also, you can grab weights and challenge yourself. You can lunge up and down the driveway, uh, wherever you are. I challenge you to maybe add this into your daily routine. Time to talk about some core moves. So we're gonna go through three different core moves. One of them, you'll definitely say, oh yeah, totally a core move. And then maybe the other two, you're not gonna really recognize them as core moves, but it is amazing how much your core is activated in these moves. A strong core is so, so, so vitally important. So many of us have back trouble because our core is weak. And so working on your core strength is so imperative. All right, so we're gonna go through a sit up, a mountain climber, and then also a squat to knee drive. All right, so hold tight, here we go. A good old sit up. Feet are on the floor, and then you are just gonna go back and then try to come up as far as you can. So you're gonna go back and then straight up. Here and straight up. Maybe you can't do a full sit up. Maybe you need to do just more of a crunch where you're just a little bit of movement. Shoulders are off the ground, up and down. If a sit up is hard for you, you can also have someone hold your feet. You can put your feet under the couch or under a chair or something sturdy while you work on building that core strength. Here we're gonna talk about a mountain climber. All right, so mountain climber, you wanna be in push-up position. You're gonna to be toes slightly apart. You want them about shoulder width. And then for this move, you're gonna drive your knee in and then straight back out. You can do a cross body where you get a little bit more core, or you can just do a regular mountain climber where you're moving as fast as you can. You wanna make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders that your weight is in your hands, and then you're going driving those knees in and out. Make sure your core is tight on that move. Third and final move here is a squat with a knee drive. So just like we talked about before, your feet are shoulder width apart, your weight is in your heels, you're gonna push back, and then we're gonna drive the knee up. So you're gonna squat down and then drive up. Squat down, drive up. Squat down, drive up. Squat down, drive up. You're engaging that core when you come up and down, all right? Great core move, a little bit of lower body too. So I wanna talk about one other easy, simple exercise that you can do at home with minimal equipment. 
And this is gonna focus on the triceps, so the back of your arms. I know some of us are like to get rid of these chicken wings. Um, and so this is a great exercise to be able to do um, to target those triceps. So it's great because you can do it on the side of your couch, you can do it on a bench if you have a bench at the foot of your bed, or you can do it on a sturdy chair, or if you happen to have a box, you can also do it on a box. So with this exercise, um, you are going to sit on your box bench, whatever you have, and you are going to put your hands right beside you on this bench, all right? I want your hands facing forward, all right? And then you're going to start here. My back is right against the edge of this box, all right? And you're going to go down and back up. And you want to try to make sure you keep your elbows straight behind you. I don't want them going out here. All right, if this is too easy with your knees bent, you can stick your legs straight out and do the same thing. Great exercise for your triceps. And if that's too easy, you can even add a weight or something to your lap to make it a little bit harder. Push-ups can be intimidating for women. So let's talk a little bit about the modifications you can do in order to build some of that upper body strength so that you can find yourself doing push-ups on your toes. So maybe you're a total beginner and you've it has been years since you've done a push-up and maybe you need to start doing push-ups against a wall. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that. You can find a wall in your house or a wall in your garage, wherever. Start there. Then maybe move into a push-up on your knees, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a push-up on your knees, all right? And one thing I want to say is that it is much easier, if you will, when you are in that push-up position, if you will bring your heels towards your booty, it will take some of the pressure out of your knees, all right? Especially those of you who may have bad knees. So I'm going to show you a push-up on the knees, all right? So you're going to come down here, all right? Remember I said peel those um, heels towards your butt. It'll take some of the pressure out of your knees. And then you're going to go straight down, your nose towards the ground, and back up, all right? You want to have your goal to be that you bend to your elbow creases, all right? So down and up as many as you can, all right? Once you master that, then you can move to that push-up on your toes, all right? So remember, in a push-up, you're gonna feel a little bit in your core, you're gonna feel a little bit in your chest, you may even feel it in your shoulders, all right? So you wanna also make sure that you keep your hips up. Don't let your butt drop down, all right? So regular push-up on your hands, on your toes, and then going down and back up. I challenge you maybe just 10 push-ups a day, all right? Now that we've talked about some things that you can do at home, I hope this will get you moving. I've included a little workout, both a beginner and intermediate version, as well as an advanced version. I hope you have a blast and I hope this gets you moving in the right direction.